Greetings everyone, Harry T here with Digital World Live, here to present tutorials and demonstrations on the Allen Heath D-Live S-Class series mixing consoles. A graphic EQ is provided on each mix bus. To access them, you simply press the select button on the output or the mix bus that you desire. You tab over to GEQ, and there you will have the graphic EQ displayed on the screen. You can touch to utilize each of the bands, frequency bands, and to reset, you simply press and hold the reset button, touch the screen, and it's reset it. You also have four models to choose from, from the GEQ type. There, you can change each model. You also have the GEQ fader flip. And when pressing this, each frequency band is displayed on the surface. Now, with the graphic to fader, it's the same on the 3000 and the 5000 series. Now, the 7000s, you're able to see the entire frequency band across the entire surface of the console because the surface is larger. Once you press it one time, it displays from 31 hertz to 1K. You press it again, it then moves from 500 hertz to 16K. And on the third press, it goes back to your channels being on the surface. Also, you have the GEQ button here on the console. You press it once, and it's the same thing as the fader flip mode. 31 hertz to 1K. Second press, 500 hertz to 16K. And the third time, the channels are back on the surface. Also, in the fader flip mode, once you move a frequency band, the select button LED goes away. That tells you that that frequency band has been altered. You press to reset. And another cool thing with the RTA is listed in each peak of the RTA itself, each frequency peak is displayed here on the LED meters with the red indicators. And that's your graphic EQs. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, or comment. Thanks again. Yours truly, Harry T.